Cognito Release 6.7 introduces native integration support for Sentinel-1 Endpoint EDR. This includes new host artifacts to aid in host identification as well as host lockdown. Let's take a look at a quick demo on how to set up the Sentinel-1 EDR integration and what you can expect to see on Sentinel-1 enabled hosts. Here we are on the EDR integration settings page. I've already chosen to edit the Sentinel-1 EDR down at the bottom of the page. Once you're in edit mode, simply slide the on-off toggle to get access to the credential inputs. After you've entered the Sentinel-1 management URL and API token, click Save. Your Sentinel-1 integration is now up and running. The first green check mark indicates that Detect was able to communicate with Sentinel-1 using the credentials provided. The second check mark indicates that host lockdown has been enabled. Keep in mind that host lockdown is now a global setting across all EDRs. Within about five minutes, Detect will begin polling Sentinel-1 for host information. Here we are on the host page of a host that we've identified as running Sentinel-1 EDR. Remember previously that host lockdown was enabled globally, so as an analyst I have the ability to temporarily disable this host directly from the Detect UI. I can also pivot over to the host details to see what artifacts we've collected on this host. Host artifacts from Sentinel-1 will include things like operating system version, MAC address, host name, last seen timestamp, as well as several others. The full list can be found in the 6.7 release notes. And just like all of our other EDR integrations, you can pivot directly from Detect over to the EDR console in the event that you need more specifics on a host or if you want to take a broader look and investigate across all of the EDR hosts. Notice that this host is showing a connected network status, meaning it's online and not under any kind of network isolation. Let's perform a host lockdown action from Detect and see what that looks like in Sentinel-1. Detect now shows that host is being locked along with information about when it was locked and who performed the host lockdown function. And if we pivot back over to the Sentinel-1 console, we'll now see that that host is in a disconnected network status, so we know the lock was successful. And once that host lockdown timer expires, or if the host is unlocked manually or automatically, we should see that network status return to connected state for that host.